Namaste. Welcome to our Yoga to Health Back Care Basics practice. This is a practice that Jeff and I like to do when, when we've done a bit too much in the garden. And so you're sitting right now. Are you sitting up or are you sitting down? Most people sit down. And so if you're sitting on your heels, chances are your spine's in its natural curves, just like yogi bones here. Sitting up is easy for the spine to float up into its natural curves. However, if you sit like this, it is very easy to round the back and to lose that natural curve and then the neck also has to compensate and it becomes tight. So the moment you can take the pelvis forward, the top of the pelvis forward, so instead of sitting down, going to tip the top of the pelvis forward onto the sitting bones and the spine will find its natural curves. Beautiful. That often means sitting on a chair or on a bolster is going to be helpful. And so you can see that if you're sitting on your sitting bones, the spine is not touching the ground. But if you are sitting down and the spine rounds, you're putting all sorts of pressure on the inside of your back and the head has to lift so the neck is tight. So let's sit up, rolling onto the sitting bones so that the pubic bone rolls forward and the spine can come into its natural curves. Beautiful. So throughout our practice today, we're going to see if we can find this natural curve in the spine supported by well-toned muscles. So there they are back care basics. So let's begin by lying down and noticing the breathing. So with the back of the neck lengthening, notice how the spine can flow into its natural curves with the back of the neck lengthening. And the more you relax the body, the more you'll notice that the breath creates waves of movement through the spine. Can you feel it? Can you feel how the in-breath is a feeling of upward flowing spaciousness? and how the out-breath is a feeling of downward flowing strength. So it's really easy to press the waist into the floor and enhance that strength. So breathing in, there's a wave of fullness and openness and space on the in-breath and there's a wave of downward, inward strengthening on the out-breath. So as we practice the infinity breath we're going to make an infinity sign that creates a flow through the body and so if it helps roll the arms away when you breathe in and roll them into the body as you breathe out or you can keep the arms resting alongside your body so the next time you breathe in feel the breath flowing upwards spaciousness upward flow let it go through the back of the neck and imagining that the in-breath is now lengthening the back of the neck and then it lands on the crown of the head. As you exhale, the face softens, the chin tucks a little. It goes through the throat, down the shoulder blades, down the back and then curls over the pelvic floor into the lower abdominals, moving in and up into strength. So here we go, breathing in through the throat to the crown of the head and exhale down the face through the throat down the shoulder blades all the way to the lower abdominals moving in and up let's do one more round breathing in belly throat back of the neck back of the head crown of the head exhale down the face Chin tucks a little through the throat, along the back body from the shoulder blades to the waist, over the pelvic floor to come back to the lower abdominals moving in and up. So that is a wonderful way to begin to notice how the breath enhances all movement. So let's begin by taking the arms up and then as you exhale, make a big circle around the right knee. Give it a right knee, a good hug. Breathing in, push the knee away a little and breathing out, draw the knee into the chest. Let the elbows lift, 
Come back to the core strength as you exhale and then lift into spaciousness as you draw your nose towards the knee. So breathing in, so this stretches the back body as it strengthens the front of the body. Notice how far the nose is towards the knee. And then lift the toes just above your knee and then bring the arms along the floor and push into the spot behind that big toe so that the knees are level as you exhale, pull it back as you inhale and as you exhale push into that imaginary spot. Breathing in and if you wish to you can take the fingertips towards the end of the mat. Well done, breathing in and exhale, noticing how we're strengthening the core of the body. And then hold that knee, roll down, squash the fingers to enhance that core strength again. Lifting the foot as you inhale and squashing the fingers into strength. Lifting the foot and drawing some circles for the ankle, reverse the direction. Spreading the toes and give the foot a really good shape until the toes are all blurry. Don't worry, the foot won't leave the ankle. And then putting the foot down and noticing after those simple movements how that right side of your body is alive with sensation. So let's lift the arms up again, breathing in and exhale. Draw the left knee into the chest, give it a good hug. Notice how you're stretching the back, the buttocks and the hamstrings. As you inhale, push the knee away, and as you exhale, draw the knee into the chest. So the next time that you exhale and you move into that core strength, lift the elbows and take the nose towards the knee, shoulder blades sliding down your back. Notice how the back is long and the core of the body is strong. Breathe in and exhale as you bring the nose towards the knee. And then when you're ready, lift the toes just above your knee, arms alongside your body, and then push straight into that spot behind the big toe, breathing in, pull back from that spot, and exhale. And if you wish to, you can begin to take your fingers towards the end of your mat. Ah, oh, well done. And then come back, hold on to the back of the knee, and squash the fingers. There's the exhale, bring you back to your core strength again. The inhale, lifting the foot, and the exhale, squashing the fingers. And then breathing in, and then draw some circles with the foot, reversing the direction, spreading the toes, and giving the foot a really good shape until all the toes are blurring, and it feels nicely energized. And then stand the feet, back on the floor and take a moment to find the breath again. Breathing in from the belly, chest, back of the neck lengthening, exhaling face soft, chin tucks a little, down the shoulder blades, back to your core. And notice that movement, you're welcome to roll the arms if that helps. Well done, exhale. So if you wish to, you can walk your feet just a little bit closer to the buttocks. Please listen to your body. It'll tell you just how far to go. So with the back of the neck lengthening, the shoulder blades sliding underneath your body, go ahead and imprint the lower back into the floor and then push the knees towards the toes. You can feel the big toes are planted firmly on the mat and lifting the buttocks on the out breath, lifting the chest on the in breath. Rolling the arms away will help you to enhance the chest opening and as you exhale, enhancing the waist lengthening. So pick up your head and lengthen the back of the neck and noticing how every time you inhale there's a little tiny lift and every time you exhale there's a lengthening the back as the infinity breath continues to realign our spine and constantly looking for natural balance. Beautiful, and then slowly rolling down, 
and take a moment to notice that beautiful feeling of energy that you've created through strengthening your back and opening the front of the body. So if you have a strap, let's take our strap. And in class, we like to make a loop. Not necessary, but we love to make a loop. So put the strap or the loop around your right foot. Anything will do. Dressing gown cord, husband's old neckties. So take a moment to loop the loop around the foot. Relax the shoulders and let the breath flow. And again, every time you breathe in, the back of the neck lengthens. And every time you breathe out, the face softens and you come back to your core. So allow the leg to come a little bit closer towards you. Beautiful. And then slide the strap, the fingers down the strap until it lands on the crown of your head. There. And then straighten the arms and start to move very gently to release the back of that right leg. Noticing all the movements that you're creating. Don't worry if that leg that is up there is a little bit bent. You can imagine that the back of the knee, there's an eye shape and is opening up a little bit more every time there's a release of any tension. Beautiful. You could lengthen the strap a little bit more if that feels comfortable. You might need to shorten it. Excellent. Now notice how the left groin feels really, really comfortable and how the waist is on the floor. So go ahead and put your left hand on that groin and then see what happens when you lengthen that leg. And notice how the waist lifts away from the floor a little. That's because the bridging muscles between the body and the legs, called the psoas group of muscles, they are attached to the inside of your lumbar spine, crosses over the pelvis and are attached to the inside of that top leg bone. And so if you want to release that muscle, which for most of us is, tends to be tight, gently drop the waist into the mat. If that doesn't feel comfortable for your back, bend that knee again. So now let's take the strap closer to the foot, holding it with the right hand and placing the left hand back on the groin. In class, we often call this a filet mignon muscle. It's like big, juicy, tender steak in there. It's quite a large muscle. So as you breathe in, swing the leg you're holding out to the side to release the adductor muscles on that inner leg. And as you exhale, lift it up and take the nose towards the knee. Let's roll down the back of the neck, lengthening. The leg you're holding moves over to the right as the head rolls over to the left. And then when you're ready to exhale, bring it back and take the nose towards the knee. So let's do that one more time, rolling back, leg right, head left, and smile, it feels so good to go into your body with mindfulness. Well done. And then I'm going to bend both knees, draw the heel towards the navel, holding the foot and rocking the leg from side to side. Let's cross that leg over. So the right leg's on top, the arms a little away from the body, and then have a little rock from side to side. Bend that left arm so that as you take your knee to the left, the fingertips can find the inner thigh or knee so that you are supporting this movement as you roll your head to the right, and then take a moment to allow it to go to the level that's just right for you. Don't forget to breathe. Every time you breathe in, there's a beautiful upward flow of space as the back of the neck lengthens. Every time you breathe out, there's a softening of the face. As the shoulder blades slide down, you come back to your core. Are you ready to come back? And out. 
Just for a moment, take the knees in the opposite direction and pause a moment to feel any sensations you experience as you, as you experience present moment awareness. Let's come back. Notice how it feels inside your body. So let's now put the loop of the strap around the left foot. Straightening the leg as best you can. You imagine some little eye there and it blinks wide open, holding the strap with your left hand, both hands. Pause a moment to allow the leg to come towards you. And then slide the fingers down the strap onto the crown of your head. And then straighten the arms and create a little bit of a seesaw movement so that you're very gently allowing those tightnesses that you experience to gently release. And every time you breathe out, there's a soft release. It helps to soften the face and smile to help you let go. Shoulder blades are down, the breath is flowing. You might want to lengthen the strap a little, you might want to bend the elbows, you might want to shorten it a little. Listen to your body until it feels just right. And then walk your hands, left hand now holding the strap, right hand on a filet mignon on the other side. So feel, give it a little massage, we're going to tenderize that beautiful muscle. Notice how the waist is on the floor. You might like to straighten the leg. How does that feel? Can you feel the waist wanting to lift? That's perfectly natural as this muscle, you're asking this muscles to lengthen and since it's attached to the lower back, it arches away from the floor. So invite to relax, simply invite the waist a little closer to the floor. We know how to do that with the out breath. Beautiful. And then when you're ready, on the in breath, roll the leg. So swing it out to the left so where we're working into that left hip joint. And as you exhale, bring it back and take the nose towards the knee. And then rolling back, let's take the leg you're holding over to the left again. This time, rolling the head to the right and smiling. Exhale, the leg lifts and the nose towards the knee, being perfectly satisfied with the level of practice that you're experiencing at the moment. Well done. And then bring it back. Bend both knees. Let's draw the heel towards the navel, holding the foot and rocking the leg from side to side as we release the back of the leg. And then crossing the leg over with the arms a little away from the body. And as you rock from side to side, you can feel that you're rocking across the sacrum with just a little gap behind the waist. Or it may not be a gap, but be a light feeling behind the waist. So you know the spine's in its natural curves before we begin to give it a bit of a twist. So make sure the back of the neck is lengthening and we're ready to go. Bend the right elbow and drop that knee into the fingertips as you roll your head to the left, softening the face, letting the breath flow. Noticing any feelings and noticing the infinity breath helping you. Flowing up the spine, back of the neck lengthening. And then as you exhale, the face softens, shoulder blades down. All the way down the back of the body, into the lower abdominals, lifting in and up. And come back when you're ready. And then take the knees over to the left as the head ro rolls to the right. And take a moment how your body feels after those spinal twists. And draw the knees into the chest and start to rock backwards and forward so that we can come up to sit. And then in your own way, roll onto all fours. So let's float the spine 
As you exhale, arch the spine, drawing the lower abdominals in and up. And when you're ready, on the in-breath, letting the spine dip down. On the out-breath, lower abdominals in and up. You can feel beautiful stretch. Let's stay here and take a breath into this stretch. And exhale even higher. And on the inhale, letting the spine soften. On the next out breath, draw the navel in towards the spine in neutral position and stretch the left leg away with the left hand behind your back and the arm up, feeling that you're pushing the earth away so there's lots of space in the shoulder, perhaps the arm alongside the ear, and then lifting that leg in kneeling half moon, feeling stable, strong, balanced. And then placing the hands back and take that left foot, place it near the knee and then arch the spine, nose towards the knee. Let's do that one more time. So stretch the leg away, left arm up or over, left leg lifting. And then put the hand back, take the foot by the knee and the nose towards the knee. Coming back onto all fours, dipping the spine on the in-breath and arching the spine on the out-breath. Finding neutral spine and stretching the right leg away with the right hand behind the back. The arm up or over and then lifting that leg, feeling stable, strong, steady and yet relaxed. And putting the hand down, taking the foot by the knee and the nose towards the knee. Let's it up one more time. So stretch it away, the right arm up or over, and smile. And you lift the right leg. And putting the hand down, the foot by the knee and the nose towards the knee. And placing the knees back underneath the hips. With the toes curled under and stretch back, stretching the soles of your feet. And then breathing in, lifting the knees into dog pose. And take a moment to really love the way this realigns your spine. You have an even weight on the hands and feet, so the spine naturally aligns. So don't let the lower back cave in. Draw your lower abdominals in and up and release all the way through the shoulders. Beautiful. The gentle version of the yoga headstand for strength and alignment. And then take your heart between your knee, your thumbs and drop your knees down. And if you can, lift the knees and back into dog pose. So go ahead and do your plank with the knees down or lifted. And then once more exhale, and if you want a little bit more, go into plank and into upward facing dog. But keep connected to your core strength. Drop the knees down if you need to. And then drop your knees as wide as your mat and stretch back into frog pose. Notice the breath deepening into the belly. And then coming up, placing the hands between your knees so that the knees are hip width apart and the hands behind your back. So breathing in, rounding the shoulders and breathing out, pressing the hips forward, the chest opening and again the lower back lengthening. So feel the breath in opening the back body and the breath out, opening the front body. And take a moment to gently tuck the chin and allow yourself to deepen a little bit more if you need to. Good. And then come back onto all fours, arching the spine as you exhale and dipping the spine as you inhale. 
find neutral spine and walk your hands to one side and breathe into that open side. You might like to look at the feet behind. It's opening up the side spine. And I'm walking back. Arch the spine as you exhale. And dip the spine as you inhale. And neutral spine. And you walk your hands to the other side. So that they're shoulder width apart. Breathing into that open side as you look to your feet. And coming back. And rest a moment, finally resting buttocks towards the heels into child pose. So either with your elbows down, you might like to stack fists under the eyebrow center if you have blood pressure problems, or you might be able to reach your fingers towards your toes. And you feel the belly against the thighs opening the whole lumbar back. Let the shoulder blades melt. Let the breath deepen. And then slowly unwind. And finding a comfortable seat. So I find it's really nice to sit on a bolster. You might like to sit on a cushion or a chair. You might have a bolster. So we'll have a very short meditation practice. I'd like to put something around your shoulders. So are you sitting up so that the top of the pelvis is tipping forward? So the pubic bone is moving towards the ground. So just like yogi bones here. So the pubic bone is moving towards the ground and then we can come up to sit. Let's put the thumb to the middle finger to enhance our experience of space. With the eyes softly closing, feeling that gentle connection between the thumb and the middle finger. Notice how as you exhale, you can feel grounded through the sitting bones and your connection to the earth. So let's take a journey up the spine Feeling that gentle curve in the lower back and a gentle curve in the back of the neck. And then finish at the eyebrow center, your intuitive insight wisdom center. And then that would be the inner breath and on the out breath radiate your awareness up and out into the universe, into the vast space beyond. And on the in breath, Draw the energy back, receiving all the wisdom that you seek, back to the eyebrow center, and as you exhale, back down the spine, all the way back to the earth. Breathing in, earth to Ashna Chakra, the eyebrow center. Breathing out, eyebrow center to the universe. Breathing in, universe to the eyebrow center and breathing out back to the earth. Go ahead and do one more round in your own time. Beautiful. So when you're ready, stretch the legs out, give them a rub. And we're going to roll down for a very short relaxation. So let's see how we can best lie down for our back. So you might like to put something behind your knees and then roll back, broadening the shoulders. You're welcome to cover up. The back of the neck is lengthening and be mindful of whether there are any areas in your spine that feel tense or tight, you might like to make a modification, perhaps something behind your head or bending the knees a little more. And then just melt into gravity. Feeling how with every in-breath, 
there's an upward flow of space, how the back of the neck lengthens, and with every out breath there's a downward flow over the face, down the back body, into your core and into the earth. I'm breathing in and I'm breathing out. And take a moment to notice your thoughts. Yoga teaches that if you want to know what your thoughts were like yesterday, look at your body today. If you want to know what your body will be like tomorrow, Look at your thoughts today. If I want to know what my thoughts were like yesterday, I look at my body today. If I want to know what my body will be like tomorrow, I observe my thoughts today. Good moment to be with present moment awareness of your thoughts, your breath, your connection to the earth. draw the knees into the chest, give yourself a hug. You take a moment to thank your body because we know that happiness is gratitude and that we are too blessed to be stressed. So have a little rock from side to side and then coming up to sit. Well done everyone. Let's take a breath in and closing now. Namaste. Thank you so much for your company. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.